Everyone's real nice here, I promise. Maybe we can swing our own booth at the state fair this year. Maybe make enough money to go on tour. I can't do it anymore. Not with the girls. They haven't even had a chance to make friends down here yet. Why don't you leave Sylvia and Jenny here with me? I got six kids. Two more won't make a difference. <laughs> $20 a week and you won't have to worry. That's mighty kind of you to offer that. Cookie, you be good. You girls make sure you get everything you need. Thank you. Who's your friend? Sylvia, but she don't talk to trash. Excuse me. It's my mama's ex-boyfriend. I was wondering if I could borrow a few dollars. If I had the money, I'd give it to you. I ain't paying for another man's kids. You ain't paying for your own. Oh. I'm pregnant. I want you all upstairs. So for Sylvia, I want you down in the basement. Your daddy's check didn't arrive today. Oh, it's probably just late. She gave you the belt? Mama, we gotta go. Oh, no, stop it! She's pregnant! Sylvia, she's telling horrible lies about me. What kind of lies? You have a right to get even. What do you want to do? I can't. What the hell is going on? Get her out of here! Best to stay out of it, I think. until Sylvia is out of the basement. Until she learns her lesson. Did you ever tell some of the other kids that they should come over to the house because everyone was having fun with Sylvia? I just thought we were punishing her. You told no one what was happening in the Banachevsky house? No, sir. I haven't seen Sylvia in church in weeks. I'm afraid I had to send her to juvenile. There are things in life we have to do, whether we like it or not. With every situation, God always has a plan. I guess I'm still trying to figure out what that plan was. I think I could get that money. Are you scared? I've been scared about a lot of things for a long time. Who's in charge here? You are, Mama. Jenny, Mama's just teaching her.